Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. And I'm going to ask you to pray, especially people that have these iniquities, these wounds in their souls that are preventing them from activating the promises of God. I believe if you pray for them right now, there's going to be a supernatural river of life. I believe that. You know, most of us, we deal with transgressions. You know, transgressions is the act of sin, what we do wrong. You know, but there's a thing in the Bible that's called iniquity, which is the inner cause that makes you do the other sins. And most of us, we're clean. We say, we don't smoke, we don't drink, we don't do this. But yet, if we don't deal with what's in the heart, the weakness of our heart, the things that was inherited, then eventually that sin will come back again, causing you to fall. And that's why so many good people, maybe you're watching us and you are a good believer and, and you don't know why you fell into a sin, into a sin. It is because you never dealt with the issue of the heart. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus. There are many uh, ministers, people called to ministry right now and you fell away and you thought, well, you know, God is done with me. But no, the Lord wants to restore your life. He did it for me. And it was his presence, it was his voice, his word that completely delivered me. And I know God wants to restore you, and I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that this will be the day and the hour where the Lord restores your life, heals you, removes every generation of curse out of your life, and brings the presence of the Holy Spirit into every compartment of your heart and of your soul and heals you in the name of Jesus. God is not angry with you. He sent his son to die for you. And I tell you, you would not be watching this show if there wasn't time to come home. Turn from your sin, turn to God, believe Jesus died and is your Lord and lives inside of you and rose from the dead. God is more than enough. Let's pray. Okay. Well, Father, today we thank you that you're a God of deliverance. You love us too much to leave us the way we are. So, Father, today in Jesus' name, I take authority against the generational curses of heart disease, of long-term pain that have come down through families that are, that are affecting men and women of God. I bind those generational curses in Jesus' name. I bind their cause, their power, and their effect in Jesus' name today, and I break their hold. I command those curses broken. I command all pain, leave their bodies right now in Jesus' name. I command every part of the body from the top of the head to the bottom of the toes to return to normal function. And Father, I ask right now that the blessings that have not been able to be released because of these curses would be released today. God's favor and God's blessing, we speak it, we declare it, and we ask that you release it in Jesus' name today. Amen. You saw a major move of God's Spirit. Yes, I did. Especially on young people. And when you begin to pray God's Word over your children and grandchildren, quickly, I want you to pray for the children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren of those that are watching right now. Well, Father, in the name of Jesus, you said that in the last days you would pour out your Spirit on all flesh and our sons and daughters would prophesy and our young men would see visions. And I claim that fulfillment, that promise coming to pass in Jesus' name. May every child represented by every person watching this telecast, let every one of them come under this canopy of the anointing of God. You're the faithful God who keeps covenant and mercy with those that love you to a thousand generations. Let covenant come upon them in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And I just feel like there are hundreds of you that are going to see your offspring that are bound to drugs, bound to heroin, out in a life of darkness. You're going to see them delivered. Proverbs 11:21. the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. We prophesy over you in Jesus' name. Amen. And, and, and I agree. You take it. And I'll repeat it after you, yeah. and uh, you repeat it right after him. I just want to say that we're turning from our wicked ways in this decree. And so if you'll just say this after me, dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. I turn. I turn. From wicked ways. From wicked ways. I want to follow you, Jesus. I want to follow you, Jesus. I ask you to grant me. I ask you to grant A me divorce. A divorce. From the principality of Baal. From the principality of Baal. The ruler of the demons. The ruler of the demons. I want nothing to do. 
I want nothing to do with this evil principality. With this evil principality. I want you and you alone, Lord Jesus. I want you and you alone. So I declare that I am divorced from Baal. That I am divorced from Baal. And married to the Lord Jesus Christ. Married to the Lord Jesus Christ. Now and always. Now and always. Amen. Amen. I want you to look in the camera and pray for the people watching right now to receive the power. Same day, that same type of power that fellow on the cell phone received. There's no doubt in my mind that you are about to receive. If you are hungry for the things of God, then God's hungry for you. If you're serious about him, he's serious about you. And I want you to look at me right now, sir, ma'am, what do you want to see? Now, if you want me to pray for you that you get a million dollars in the mail, I'm sorry. You're looking at the wrong person. But if you want to pray for the anointing, the power of God to heal the sick, to raise the dead, dead, to see the power of God come down in your city, to see people touched by the power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray God for the power of God to come down right now into that living room, into that house, into that home, flow through that computer, flow through that TV set, flow through that apparatus right now. Touch, 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 touch. May the fire of the Holy Ghost envelop, envelop, and touch Touch this man, touch this woman, and use them for your glory and honor in Jesus' name. And don't you take a drop of God's glory. When he uses you, you give all the credit to the Lord. That's one of the secrets of my longevity. I see miracle after miracle after miracle because I don't take one drop of his glory. It's all Jesus and none of you. You're a vessel. Man, if, you, if it wasn't for God, you couldn't heal a sick hummingbird. It's Jesus flowing through you. <laughs> right now, there's somebody, let me tell you right now, right now, there's somebody in a cloud. You are in a dark cloud, and God's going to bring you out of that dark cloud. But once you get out, here's what the Lord is saying to you. Move. Keep moving. The Lord is saying to you, I cannot steer a car that is sitting still. You need to move forward in the things of God. Quit sitting still. Go after God. Worship the Lord. Read the word, not for others, but for you. I'll tell you what, I want you to briefly lead our studio audience and our audience at home through these steps right now, Katie. Okay. So let's, let's in, just... In three minutes. In <laughs> three minutes, okay. Let's just think about how often we get offended every day. And let's just come before the Lord right now and just ask Him to begin to wash away that sin with His blood. So Lord, right now I decree that for everybody watching and everyone in here in the studio audience, that you are coming with your blood, your powerful, powerful blood from your cross. And you are going to every single time we've been offended, all the way back, Lord, systematically taking away every sin when we were offended at our spouses, our children, our friends and family, bosses, pastors. Right now, we repent. We repent, Lord. And we repent for being offended at strangers. We repent for being offended at situations. We ask, Lord, that you would come so powerfully with your blood to wash away the sin of offense because we don't want to be sick, Lord. And we don't want to make anybody else sick with our words. So right now, Lord, atone and wash for our sins with your mighty blood in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Does everybody say in the name of Jesus? In Put the your name blood. Of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, normally we would stop right there and we would just say the blood. And that's what our problem has been <laughs> because we stop at the blood. We need everything Jesus did. If, if Jesus was not resurrected, then he would still be a dead man in a tomb. You have to have the cross and the resurrection. They go together. We have to have everything Christ did for us. So now let's partake of the second victory Jesus won for us, and that is the power called dunamis that comes through the resurrection. Now I want you to direct your attention on your soul being filled with dunamis. Lord, we command that our souls would be filled with dunamis. We command right now, in the name of Jesus, that our souls would become excellent. Everybody say, excellent of soul. Excellent of soul. Say, I am excellent of soul. I am excellent of soul. Say, I'm filled with dunamis. I'm filled with dunamis. Say, my wounds, my wounds 
my wounds are being healed, are being healed right, now. right now. Every time I sinned, Every time I've sinned by, being offended, by being offended, it made a wound. But your power, but your power that, comes that comes from the resurrection, from the resurrection is, filling me now. is filling me now. It's going right to my soul. It's going right to my soul. And it's healing every wound inside my soul. And it's healing every wound inside my soul. I am excellent of soul. I am excellent of soul. I am of soul. Well, this is my favorite part too. <laughs> <laughs> Always, because of the miracles that happen. I want you to place your hand on your heart. I'm getting in on this joke. Yeah, no joke. It's me too. <laughs> My hand is right there. And just expect God to come and meet you right where you are. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I send the word of healing to everyone within the sound of my voice, no matter where this is aired, on television or on the computer. The anointing is just going to increase. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I curse the spirit of trauma in every single person. I curse any form of trauma of rejection, abandonment, betrayal, abuse, mental, physical, emotional, and sexual. In Jesus' name, I curse the spirits of loneliness, depression, oppression, worthlessness, and hopelessness. What I'm sensing in my spirit is some of you go, well, it just can't go away that easy. Why not? Why not? It does with people around the world. Why not you right now? I speak health and wholeness to your brain and put your hand over your head for just a moment. And Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I speak that those labels of discouragement, of being broke, of being betrayed, of being divorced, all those labels to be removed, and not only the labels to be removed, but supernaturally, their memory of those horrific situations to be gone out of their life, out of their memory but completely. It, excuse me. You've got to pray for people right, right at this moment that have had abortions for those memories to be gone. And Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I speak complete freedom beyond comprehension of the guilt, of the shame, of the grief. And if you have had a miscarriage or an abortion, place your hand on your area where the womb is or was. And Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I curse the grief and the loss there in Jesus' name and the shame. In the name of Jesus, I speak for the shame to be removed, not only from abortion, but just the past. Forgetting those things which are behind you, pressing on to the prize, pressing on to all that God has for you. This is the time to be free and have and experience freedom beyond comprehension. And I speak love, joy, peace, patience, happiness, serotonin levels, melatonin levels to be restored, endorphins to be restored, stress hormones to be destroyed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.